Hi, everybody. Today's poem of the day is one of the most difficult ones to read out loud. So if I fumble and and guffaw over it, just please forgive me. It's Edgar Allan Poe's The Conquering Worm. Lo, tis a gala night within the lonesome latter years, an angel throng bewinged bedight in bales and drowned in tears, sit in the theater to see a play of hopes and fears while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres, mimes in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly mere puppets they who come and go at the bidding of vast formless things to shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor's wings, invisible woe, that motley drama, oh, be sure, it shall not be forgot, with its phantom chased and forevermore by crowd that seized it not through the circle of ever returneth in and the self same spot and much of madness and more of sin and horror and and horror the soul of the plot but see amid the mimic rout a crawling shape intrude a blood red thing that rolls riles writhes from out the scenic solitude it writhes it writhes with mortal pangs it that the mimes become its food the sepphors sob the vermin fangs and the human gore imbued out out are the lights out all and over each quivering form the curtain of funeral pall comes down with a rush of a storm while the angels all pallid and wan uprising unveiling affirm that the play is the tragedy man and the hero the conquering worm so it's kind of saying that the final scene of everybody's life is the grave and the true hero in the tale of all of our lives or the conquering worm is the conquering worm that gets to eat our remains when we're in the grave. Uplifting. Happy Thursday.